What's going on everybody and throughout the years we've taken a look at countless setups. Sometimes they're the pride and joy of a gamer, and sometimes they're more or less centered around elegance, design, and creativity. Either way, more often than not, they're built around expensive and large machines with expensive and large accessories surrounding them. That's not an issue in the slightest with gamers or people who spend most of their time there, but it's a traveler's worst nightmare. We can of course substitute all of that for a laptop and maybe we'll try that sometime, but today I thought I'd take it one step further. Welcome to the smartphone productivity setup. Using a phone to work is never a sustainable solution. For some tasks, the form factor is trouble, but for others, it makes the job a whole lot easier, so it's not as black and white as it seems. With that said, here are a few tips, tricks, and tools to make the experience great every time. Let's start off with the basics, because one of the biggest drawbacks with doing something like this is battery life. It's not exactly mobile when you have to be within 3 feet of an outlet at all times, and with something like this you don't have to be. This is a charging case that you pop your phone right into, and on top of the protection you get, battery problems become a thing of the past for you. The specific kind I've got right here supports the iPhone 6 and 6s models, but I'm sure you can find one for whatever you have. A few of the benefits you'll get are obviously the extra charge, an additional 130% to be exact, but that's not all. The port to charge the case itself is micro USB, and that charges the phone first, then goes on to refill the extra battery. What this means for one is that you won't need those flimsy Apple lightning cables anymore, but also, I have it now so that there aren't any loose cables in each of the outlets around the house like there used to be. I just have one micro USB cable that I use to charge up overnight, and the phone plus charging case take me to the next night without having to plug anything up, and even then I've got some battery to spare. The last subtle advantage with this model in particular is the way the speaker grills are made. Instead of constantly blocking them with your fingers like before, they now play sound straight to you which makes a lot more sense. One last thing before we move on, the opening for the audio jack may not be big enough for all cables, so a nice little extension adapter comes included in the box for that reason. Staying on the topic of sound, case or not, smartphones don't generally have the best speakers. And while headphones are always an option, sometimes it's nice to fill a hotel room with sound without being tethered to anything. Since we're focused on portability, Bluetooth is the way to go. And here's a nice option for you guys. This mini boombox comes courtesy of eLala, and names aside, there are a few cool features here to talk about, but before any of that, I want to point out that if you're going to be carrying something around, it doesn't hurt for it to look good, which this does. You'll get everything you expect like call and media controls, NFC technology, and a 3.5mm auxiliary input, but that's not new. A big concern when carrying things around is always safety. Around the speaker itself is a honeycomb silicon case, and what that means essentially is that you don't have to worry about drops and scratches at all. Only thing left to talk about is sound quality, but I do want to say, if you decide to not pick one of those battery charging cases up, you can still get a little bit of an extra charge right here. In terms of the sound, there isn't anything too special going on here, but it is good. Bass is good, albeit a little overpowering, and it gets decently loud without any distortion. So it's good enough for what it's supposed to be, and it's a hell of a lot better than what you'll get from a smartphone. Despite the screens on smartphones getting larger and larger, most if not all of the time we spend using them is handheld. This isn't a surprise to us because that's what most mobile phones are intended for, but you're looking at 128GB of storage on this device. To some, that means tons of music, to others that can be movies, but no matter what it is, there are now many uses of a smartphone that don't require it to be held. So why bother? A stand is one of the most useful pieces of kit to have with you, whether it be on a plane or even just a table. Here's a really nice option from Spinito, and apart from the quality build and stunning design, there are a few cool things about this stand in particular. For example, you get a choice of either a smartphone compatible stand, or a slightly larger variant suited for tablets. And for each of those, a selection of really nice colors to match either your phone or other accessories. On top of that, it ships with a bunch of rubber pads to put in different places depending on the size and shape of your device, or even whether or not you have a case on it like I do here. So it works across virtually whatever you have. Also, the logo on the back doubles as a port for your charging cable if you plan on doing that. And overall for the price, it really is worth picking up. Everything you saw here today will be linked in the description below and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.